control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. What's going on, internet? Good evening. I'm here to bring you some red alert goodness, and we are starting it off with a match on sidestep. Our opponent on the Western Front is going to be Amhall, none other than Amhall. He's the man with the many nicknames. He's got more nicknames than Arnold Schwarzenegger has one-liners, and he's starting out with a with an attack dog opener. Double doggo, it seems. Yep, doggo dogson. There we go, good stuff. And he is facing off against Tiu or TF, a man who I've played himself and is a formidable player. He hails from Russia. He um, plays as Russia exclusively, or sometimes as Ukraine, anyway as Soviets. I've never seen him play allies, and he presumably speaks Russian as well. So we've got the uh, the whole Russian package. And we're seeing the attack dog from Amhol rushing straight to the to the Derek and camping. Because, oh no, that was, that was actually an intercept. And we're gonna have dog versus dog opener, dog eat dog. Very nice, and that's uh, beneficial for Amhol because he's, um, Tio has skipped the barracks. Oh, and here we're seeing the mating dance of the dogs. So guys, I really hope your parents have taught you about the bees and the birds and the dogs because otherwise I'll have to censor this. This is the mating dance here. Oh yeah, but there's a threesome waiting to happen. What? What? What's happening? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so uh, three is one too many uh, and one of the dogs, two of the dogs merged to form a super saiyan dog I guess. Yeah, but it's it's like like always in real life, threesomes, one too many probably. And this dog was having none of it, he's the alpha of the pack. Merged to form a super saiyan dog. The blue tongue, by the way. But the other dog from Amhol is still camping the Derek. So that's pretty good. And Amhol is bringing in a small detachment of rifles to camp for any for anything that could come out here. We're seeing a quick war victory for TF. Probably leads me to believe, oh yeah, it's not an APC, it's, it's a flak truck. That's a good opener, especially if you know your opponent has, has gone for dogs. Because he can poke all day. And the detachment of rifles has to poke it. Hail back home, yeah, book it here. And yep, we're having the engineer getting out safely if he doesn't get flanked somehow, which I don't believe. And the flag truck, a superb choice here to poke away at the rifles. He could make an effort to micro it, but yeah, he's gonna win against four rifles regardless. Still, he could do some more damage, you know, if he just moved it back a bit. That's what separates the, uh, the good players from the cream of the crop if you want to prevent uh, damage on your mobile flag. So yeah, a flame tower for, uh, as he calls himself in this game, NVSP. So Amhol is probably going for a flamethrower rush, from the looks of it. At least that's what I'm led to believe here. And he went for double refinery after a, after a war factory. It's kind of a weird build, strikes me as odd, but a hey. The flag truck could apply some more pressure, just drive into the base, just Take a couple pot shots. Yep, that's what I was suspecting here. The flamethrowers getting mixed in and an APC. So we're having... What is this? This is a hybrid APC. Probably either a hybrid APC of flamethrowers and uh, and engineers, which doesn't really work. Or it's going to be a double APC build. Yeah, from how fast this builds, this might be double APC. Hmm. This is a really economical build. Uh, TF just screening the back lines here, not finding anything particularly interesting. And yep, Amhol sees that there is nothing to be gained here, no ground can be gained by... Because you can't capture a pillbox under fire, really. It, it works, but only if your opponent doesn't pay attention for 10 consecutive seconds. Which in the early game is not that easy to do, because your opponent is generally not very busy in the early game. You're not microing around crazy stuff here. Let's just build a harvester build a barracks, build another war refinery, and then you choose your tech. That's the way open array works, and that's why it gets way more intense towards the mid and late game. And the early game is a crucial part, but it's nothing too crazy uh, in any build short of a rush. But speaking of rush, we've got, yeah, that's gonna be an adrenaline rush for Tia, once he sees those five flamethrowers pop up in his base. This is probably gonna be a diversion attack, it's what I like to do myself. Um, Amhol has gathered, mustered up a nice infantry force. It's going to park them in the middle of this ore patch. And while uh, and while Tief is busy responding to this, he is going to drive the APC into the back lines. Tief has his units very scattered about. Oh, this is dangerous stuff here. We are seeing the mobile construction vehicle moving out. 
Let's see how much damage the ore trucks are gonna take. I sh I would stop if we're in his place. Oh, there's a Tesla coil popping, but not gonna stop the service depot from going down. No, sir. Good night, sweet prince. Not gonna get the refinery, though. And here? Nothing has happened so far. Nothing has come to this. Probably a... Wow, that was close. That was so close. Probably a small mistake on Amhol's part, though, because what, what he really did... What he did was running his riflemen too close. If he had just kept them, like, here, uh, then TF would have had to move into the rifle blob. Would have cost him way more. So just uh, it's just the difference of a few a few tiles closer to your enemy space has cost him a lot. And now Tief is on the offensive. He's gotten his construction yard up, as has Amhol. Amhol going for a double expansion. Really greedy stuff. Oh, oh, double flak trucks. If the flak trucks catch this MCV off guard. All right, this is going to be a race against race against uh, the choke here. TF should scout this any moment now. Wow, triple flag tracks. They can catch this MCV off guard so easily. Yep, this MCV is going down. There is no two ways about it. You can stop it from deploying. All right, doesn't stop it from deploying, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Ooh, there's a Tesla coil. Only soft targets. That's going to be juicy for the Tesla coil, but a heavy tank should, should be able to do something here. Yeah, heavy tanks fairly good against Tesla coils if they don't get focused down. Oh, the dog! The dog is still in the mix, man. Oh, getting some veterancy. Okay, this is the, the the most prolific dog I've ever seen in open array. Short of the one that stopped a flamethrower rush single-handedly. Um, I think it was Murder the Ray versus someone. Where Murder the Ray saved his missile silo by building a dog. Oh no, the dog goes down. All the veterancy wasted. Wasted! Oh, the heavy tank has no business being here. So many rockets. There's gonna be a lot more rifles out for TF. He needs more rifles to just fight this off. Nice, nice moving back though. And he's got a first Yak out. Let's see what the Yak can do. Yak attack! I love me some good Yak attack planes. But for now it's gonna be really hard to punish this because so many rocket soldiers are here in the blob and Amhol is probably playing the Omnom style where you actually, your only offensive move is always going to be moving your MCV in. Move your MCV in and try to start a base push, get a base push going. Nice little scout here. Ooh, the scouting run sees that there's an unprotected refinery. Yes, sir. And now he has spotted the construction yard. Oh, -ho! that was unlucky. This Tesla coil deployed um, in the range of two other Tesla coils. So no zapping was happening. Alrighty. A couple more heavy tanks though. This is gonna be pretty brutal to fend back here. Especially considering... Well, he's got enough rocket soldiers, so TF should be fine here. And the V2 rocket to boot. The V2 rocket can be so crucial. There's gonna be a Tesla coil momentarily, I guess. Nice kiting back with the, with the V2. Oh wow, big blunder here by Amhol. Just losing his losing his heavy tank to a V2 rocket because it was stationary. Um, still though, there was like, what, four harvesters down? One of them ex escapes just in the nick of time. And we're seeing Shocky Rush. Oh, I've missed the tech center up top. So, Shock Doctrine it is for TF. He has played me a couple times and it, it played out just the same. He rushed Shock Troopers and it worked out. Uh, first game it worked out just fine for him. Second game I managed to, to punish it. So anyway, these Shockies are going to be a really good response because they have such long range and they one-shot zap anything that comes out of the barracks. Look at that, smart targeting. Zap time. This is zap time. Yeah, with good micro, TF can keep all his Shockies alive and Shockies plus walls. We know what that equals. That equals a dead base. The forward raider for Amhol gets punished. Sold off just in time. But there should be Yax. Yes, there is a Yax Strafe available. The Yax Strafe should get the Con Yard right now. Oh, instead he's focusing on what's available here. He could have dove deeper, definitely. A big, a sm small mistake here by TF. Oh, this Tesla coil is a bit misplaced right into two Tesla coils. We're seeing the shock department just starting to go to town here on the infantry. 
Flamers versus Shockies. Not a good matchup, not a good matchup indeed. And yep, that's the Conyard going down for Emhall. A Tesla tank, wow. I haven't seen Tesla tanks used in quite a while. Really nice to see those, such underused units. Really good hit and run. Okay, he's done his job, he's pushed back the base. He should just run back now. This is interesting. Ooh, very nice Yak Micro. Alright, so what I was talking about here, this is interesting. Tiff has sent four ore trucks to mine at, at Amhol's natural expansion. I don't know what he was expecting to come out of this. But the Shockies are starting to reach critical mass here. And this is gonna spell problems for Amhol. This is gonna spell trouble indeed. Because the sapping can start here. As, as long as the Shock Troopers have line of sight, they are gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Yep, yep. If you can't hard engage into Shockies, you have a problem. Also, they've got slightly higher line of sight than the regular infantry does. Which is interesting, which gives them an edge in infantry engagements. Seven. Well, it's just seven Shockies, eight Shockies, but that's so deadly. Look at how much damage this is doing. Yeah, if you don't have the counter to Shockies, you are in for it for a treat. So Amol needs to get radar tech up. In the meantime, we have seen double high tech for TF. Um, he's here with the Iron Curtain. S missile silo straight out the gate. Really good stuff. This is looking good for TF now. Although he's lost a couple harvesters just to just yeah sloppy micro. I think he reassigned them to over here, which was a blunder. But flax and shock is the classical ever the ever so classical combination. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yo, yo, TF is spread so thin here. He's got what four yaks. He's got a couple shockies and he's got two mobile flax and that's it. Yeah, two v twos as well. But that's all his army consists of. Meanwhile. Yeah, solid composition for, for Amhol, just not... He needs Yaks to screen, basically. Because you have to hard engage into Shockies, otherwise they're just gonna burst you down. Ooh, the Tesla tank's back on the field. And we're seeing... Oh, the Cliff Tesla, this is so annoying. Who doesn't love a good Cliff Tesla? And we're seeing a counter Cliff Tesla deployed here by Amhol. So this is gonna deny the, mine, the side mining on both sides. Really good stuff. You can do it here as well, by the way, but it's easier to dislodge. Okay, we need to see good Yak strafes here. Amhol has got the Yaks now, his Yak count needs to grow because there's basically nothing in the way of anti-air. Yeah, look at this. Really good stuff. The V2 has done its job, basically. Its life is forfeit. Ooh, this is gonna be such a bad... No way! Oh, TF firing the air curtain. This is gonna be so good for TF. No anti-air for Amhol here whatsoever. So the shock is gonna go to town. Oh my god. What a blunder for Amhol. This is gonna be... Ooh. V2 misses. This is gonna be a complete wipe of the army. Basically for free. And... Oof. Almost gets a Yak to boot. We're having a counter push here. Couple infantry. Couple regular infantry men, but... That's just not what you want to see at this stage of the game. Paradrop being called in as well. This is looking very bad for Emil at the moment. Going south very quickly. Oh, good strafe though. And as long as TF keeps moving, he's deploying right in the face of two V2 rockets. Such nice dodges coming out. Like, Emil's V2s have missed quite a considerable amount of times. So... All in all, they would be equal for now, except TF is probably going to deploy a refinery here. So he's gonna be hit. What? He abandoned those ore patches in favor of the in favor of this one. That uh, strikes me as odd. And there's a Tesla coil. Is it enough to to hold though? Let's see. I think Amol is just attack moving here. Ooh. All right, all right. The five yaks. So much value out of those guys. Ha! Ah! What's up with the rocket soldiers? They're being genuinely confused. Why aren't they firing? This is a bug. This is a bug. They should fire and take down all the yaks. I, I don't, I'm not sure why that's not happening. Oh, he could chase deep. Maybe get the heavy tank. Ooh, but at what cost? That was a good trade here. 
That was a good trade for Amhol. He needs those to come back into the game. Yeah, and he's reassigned his MCV. What is this? What is this saturation? What is this? Like, any star as any StarCraft player, do you know the feeling when you're playing against someone and he's just queued up like 60 probes on one mineral line that's depleted? Yeah, that's what we're seeing here. Oh my lord. This is a... Uh, yeah, Harvester Central. Uh, he could actually go for a Harvester push. I would not mind seeing one here. Needs to get a ref back out. At this stage, just reassign five harvesters to long distance mine here. That's they're not gonna do you any good, Ammo. Just do it. And the shock doc doctrine so far has worked wonders, especially against uh, opponents who tend to lack on scouting. And yeah, Ammo has pretty much neglected scouting for the most part. Now the shock is can be get picked off so easily. That's one of the weaknesses here. As soon as the as the flag truck is even out of position slightly. It's just gonna get, like, the, the Shockies are gonna get mowed down. We're having some more Shockies stream up, up to the top side. Probably just going to battle the Sam site. And I'm liking TF's chances right here. He's also got the Missile Silo, by the way. And there's gonna be a Snipe, probably. You know what? Oh! Oh! The V2's from the back lines! Just... Oh! <laughs> So we're trading a tech center here for a nuke. That was so well played here. The V2 sneaking through from Amhol. Three V2s plus two V2 uh, plus two Yaks. Sealing the deal here. And <laughs> those V2s are so exposed. But it doesn't matter. For now there's no real wait, wait, there is a Yak. Ooh. Spicy. Oh, there are more Yaks to come here. And power down for Amhol. The Sam site. Uh, power down for TF, sorry. Sam site on the other. Power down for both? Alright. That's a kind of novel. Power down for both. Who needs power, guys? Oh, all the rocket soldiers getting taken out. And here's the, the Iron Curtain taking down the V2 rockets. No problemo. That's gonna spell some nice veterans here for TF. Ooh, all the Yaks go down. TF is looking to be in a good spot here. Despite the push, he's going to hold on. He's going to rebuild. And on the other side of the map, we are having Shockies just eating their way into the base. Ah, plonk. Yep. Those riflemen just got just got plonked. Oh! We almost saw a capture here. Almost getting the uh, Raider Dome plus Iron Curtain, but fortunately TF on the ball with a cell here. And at this stage, this is completely undefended. This expansion is gonna go down in a matter of seconds. Not looking too hot. So by the way, I've got two replays uh, of TF versus Amhol. And if this one is, is short enough, then I'm going to provide a second replay. A two for one deal, basically. Depending on, depending on how, how long this game is gonna take. But the way I see it now, even despite the nuke snipe, I see very good chances for uh, for TF to take this game. Para bombs coming in, trying to stop the stop the push, but no, sir. Shock is out to mobile. Flax out to mobile. If he sees them come in, well, that's a good vector though. This vector is completely concealed for for him. See, like this is gonna come as a surprise. Yep, there it comes. Badgers. Wow, not really killing all that much. We're seeing a counter push, but that's. Uh, met with double tesla coils and a massive amount of yaks that's only riflemen though like maybe one or two rockets no not a single rocket soldier riflemen only build um some more focus fire please tf you can just take the v2 rocket you know <laughs> okay that was kind of a mistake but it does not really matter this push has been stalled Oh, finally the flags can chase in. They're giving chase and... Probably getting a yuck. No! Nice micro by Amhol. Nicely done with the target selection. Now getting a couple... A couple shock is his consolation prize for losing his expansion down there. At the bottom side. We're having another A-bomb for TF, but still he hasn't reclaimed his original two uh, ore patches. Which is a big deal in longer games. Heads up. And the V2 is just blindly running in, trying to get some snipes. It's just not happening. Amhol, you need a miracle right now. Or an all-in push. 
Well, that's a couple rocket soldiers. That's gonna be good. Ammo scouting... Oh no, he scouted the expansion, never mind. Has he though? Yeah. He has. And by the way, TF is on one con yard. So this game has uh, depleted both players of their resources. Ah. Yeah, Amhol has got a second con yard. That's the only thing he's got going over TF at the moment. So he might want to rebuild here. Or just not. Or just long distance mine. I think that's a viable option with seven harvesters. Hmm. So where's this game gonna go from here? We're seeing a second con yard being deployed. Smart. By the way, TF has three war factories. So he's gonna churn out a lot of heavy tanks from what I suppose, maybe Teslas. I would love to see Teslas, more mobile. And well, there are four Yaks, so never mind. Maybe just Flak Drags. Flak Drags would be sufficient. Absolutely sufficient to take this game. And yeah, TF just TF can just play passively now. He can stall it out and wait for Amal to make a move because the, the nuke is basically forcing an engagement. Or he can just go for for some nice snipes here. That's probably lined up to be an Iron Curtain. Oh, so many Sharkies. Four Yaks for Amhol still in the air. He needs to get some really good snipes. Oh, that's not what he's looking for. That's all his Yaks down. All his Yaks bar one. But still a horrible, horrible engagement here for Amhol. Three Yaks, that's 4k investment. That's so much money. Mm, he could have sniped a Tesla coil with that, he could have sniped refineries left and right. I'm not liking it. Instead, TF is gonna go on the offensive here, and he's probably going to Iron Curtain into, into a death push. That's what I really would like to see here, yeah! There's the Iron Curtain formation, running in, being blocked off by the, by the village, but what does it matter when you're being chased by a blob of 10 angry shock troopers, and there is Yax above you. Whoa, that's a wipe and a half. All right, this got really brutal really fast. And uh, I don't think there's gonna be any counter regression possible. TF has made the first move and Amhol is the one to respond now. And spoiler alert, he has nothing to respond with. Couple of yucks, but whatever. Where are the flak trucks? They, they're gone. So, okay. Ooh, never mind, they're not gone. They're all here just waiting for their orders. The mobile flags are, get, are getting shredded. Yeah, the shock troopers, like, as long as you can keep them in the back lines, which is... By the way, TF is doing a really nice job at screaming for his, for his shock troopers. They're high damage dealers, but at the same time, they just need so much protection. They are really fragile, so... Really good job by TF utilizing Russia to its fullest potential. Just keeping them on the back lines. And... Amol being like, you'd be, you'd be so dead if I were Russia. Would he though? You know, demo trucks wouldn't have been the worst option here. Against a shock blob this big? Yeah, I can see shock troopers work. Really good, I mean, that's a bit exposed. So if there's a flame tower up... Oh no, Amol calling the GG. He, he didn't get a flame tower out in time. Right, really good uh, display of the shock troopers and the, and the really mobile flak trucks. Really good screening of for the Teslas, keeping them behind the front lines and playing offensively with his flag tracks. Good game by TF. And seeing as this is quite short, 23 minutes, I'm going to throw in another one for free. Two for the price of one and one for the price of zero. Because it's YouTube and I'm not playing ads. So yeah, good game. And I'm going to see you guys in round two, which is just in a second. Battle control initialized. Round two, fight! This time with explored map on. But we're also gonna have a faction switch. Both of them switching over to Ukraine. Which, um, yeah, which confirms my, my suspicion and my bias that um, TF is only playing Soviets. Also, he's going for a barracks skip again. Interesting, like it gives you an early eco lead, but it loses you out of map pressure. Makes you lose out of map pressure, I'm sorry. And this is especially important on the map with like where you can capture pillboxes and derricks and the double dog opener again this is gonna get scouted so Amol knows what's up Amol should just rush his engineer over to the bottom side once he sees that there is again no no display of a barracks whatsoever 
Hmm. This is an interesting build. Wow, this is a straight-up War Factory rush. There's not even gonna be barracks here for TF. Look at how slowly this is building. This ain't no barracks. No racks in the world takes 48 seconds. And the dog is a bit confused here at the lack of riflemen that are shooting at him. At him. But he's gonna take it. So if I were Amhol, I would straight straight out the gate, go for the pillbox, go for the Alderic. Because you have enough time to do so. 48 seconds on the War Factory. And then another 12 to build the flag truck, which is the cheapest vehicle. <laughs> the dog still can't believe it. Is there hidden barracks? Hidden barracks? No, no. Still only power plant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. And this time we're probably not gonna see a flamer rush out of ammo because he... Uh, you notice the distinct lack of a flamethrower. So he's going for the safe route instead. Um, if I were him, what would I do now? Knowing that I am ahead in field presence, I would spam out a lot of infantry. A flag truck again for Tiev. And Tiev has no intentions of taking the world Eric whatsoever. His flag truck is just straight gonna run into, into the base of Amhol. Nope. Takes a sharp left turn. Because the, yeah, his GPS told him to. Take a sharp left turn at the abandoned village. Head straight towards the dog. Stop in front of the dog. You have reached your destination. Or has he? Yeah. 20 bounty. That's that's the good stuff. T of walling off against God knows what. Interesting choice. And that's to put it very politely, a very diplomatic way of saying that. But he's going for mass eco again. And I really oh 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 I really don't like the odds here because Amhol is on one harvester. So if he doesn't make this work, if he doesn't make this rush pay for itself, then he is pretty much in a very bad spot. That's the engineer as well as probably four riflemen. Up to two harvesters now. And yeah. Tief is all the time in the world. Please don't undeploy. No! No! Oh! That was atrocious. So Tief just yeah, yeah, realizing the opportunity that was, that was presenting itself here and going for the engineer. Strike the iron when it's hot. Flag track running away now, and that's a really, really good comeback, basically. How much has uh, how much has he lost? Look at the earnings. And in terms of the combat, TF is 1,100 to nil. So again, not looking good for Amhol. And we're having the APC just being deployed and it's it's containing one rifleman maybe he's trying to force him oh he's trying to force a flamethrower but he hasn't bargained with the tesla coil that's more than he bargained for ouch that's a costly loss so now we're up to almost 2000 in losses no 1250 so that mm, 2250 that must have been a rocket soldier inside hmm really bad stuff really really bad stuff for Amhol. he's in a pickle look at his field presence what does he have one rocket soldier, couple rifles. There's gonna be the backlines en engineer, a jiki sneaky bricky engineer, in perfect camouflage colors. Camouflage pattern for winter. Very good. Is for not for Siberian winter. Is is for European winter, pussy winter basically. Yeah, because the those camouflage patterns don't suit the nice white here. That's not the winter we've had in Europe or in Austria. We've had uh, 15 degrees around Christmas. Not the, not the best stuff. This is so brutal here. This is gonna be a wipe probably for Amhol. He's trying to he's trying to stop uh, Tia from getting out of expansion. But what he didn't realize is that was so far behind that Tia had the time, all the time in the world to move up with a con yard and deploy a Tesla coil just for shits and giggles. Oh, and this is gonna get zapped. No bueno here. Amhole, what's your plan? What's your plan? I think so far, TF hasn't lost a single unit in the game. Let's put that into the combat tab. 3650 to nil. Alright, alright, that's not looking too hot. He's 10k behind in the early game, 5 minutes in. And there's a death blob just waiting for the MCB. 
impressive stuff. Um, Amhel trying to come back uh, from the yeah, via backstabs, trying to reclaim this expansion. Or it's it's not his na natural expansion, but he needs to make something happen regardless. There's an engineer, by the way, in here. This is going to be interesting. Double engineer. TF has opted for a double engineer. I've not seen this on sidestep. <laughs> I've not seen this build before. Interesting though. Gonna be very, very exciting. Ah, uh, this is probably too close to the barracks, so the engineer can't get much. And here's the dreaded power down. Don't you hate it? When you're deploying your Tesla coil, TFW, you deploy your Tesla coil, and and the lights go out. <laughs> All right. Do we have anything happening here? This front line is going to be okay. So Amhol's micro has been on par. Like usually, it's got good micro, but this has just been a slugfest, and he has basically failed to micro so far. His target selection was very, very poor here. Didn't get both of the Tesla coils down in time. There's the APC, here's the Engineer, nothing happening so far. Hmm. Oh, a very ill-fated refinery. Oh shit, no way though. This is gonna be the double Engineer. Oh, oh, first, first Engineer moving in. All right, all right, I need to see this. I need to see everything. So here we are seeing a distraction push. Here we're seeing the capturing of the War Factory. Oh my lord. And Amol is so distracted by this. He can't get anything here. He's busy microing. Tesla coil probably going down. Oh, and here's the free War Factory for TF. That's... Amol has nothing. Amol, you have nothing left. I'm very sorry, mate, but this is looking very bleak. Double heavy tanks just randomly... randomly spawning here. Wow, this was so brutal. What happened to the other engine? No, the other engine went down as well. But we're <laughs> we're having V2s out of a stolen war factory. And the MCB from Amhol has to book it. So this should target the blob. And he has deployed his conyard, which he has just used for a radar dome here. Oh, too bad. Too bad he didn't go for the good stuff. This is gonna be the good stuff. Come on. Oh no! Ah, too bad. The flamethrower saves the day. Oh, wreck it. It's gonna wreck the day here. Yeah, that's over. TF, you have, uh, you have balls. You got balls, man. I'm impressed. This, this was some bally baller play. Doesn't matter if this expansion goes down. It's, well, this base push goes down. We're seeing a Tesla coil focusing down the second war factory. And the loss of a second war factory combined with the eco loss here. So much veterancy. Look at this. The veterancy on the on all the units for for TF, or at least on the frontliners here, is brutal. 10% on everything per star of veterancy. To keep that in mind. Yep, war factory going down again. There is still a lot of base here in Amhol's base that doesn't belong to him. It's got the wrong colors. Hey, a general rifleman. Good stuff. And <laughs> Those two lonely heavy tanks camping the ore field. So, TF loves his long distance mining. I've seen him do that a couple times. Interesting though, he has been really good at relegating his harvesters to different fields. Which I highly commend. A skill that I highly commend. Um, yeah. Here is the death blow to, to ammo. Coming in hot, it's a rifle rocket blob that has veterancy up the wazoo. Amhol trying to make something work with the crushes. Let's look into, into his point of view. He sees a lot of green and not a lot of red. That's game. That is so game. Nicely played by TF. TF, despite his reckless playstyle, hasn't lost all that much, honestly. It has really paid off for him this time. It's paid off big time for him. The big money makers and those two heavy tanks have a very ill-fated relic point. He's gotten one yak out. And that's all she wrote. We have one more const construction yard here. I, I just believe that ammo is not gonna stick around. Grenadiers! Finally! Uh, I, I was hoping the day would come we'd see offensive grenadiers without a cheesy rush. So let's look at the stats here. The stat line is going to speak a very uh, one-sided language here. We are seeing 40, uh, 45k to 26k. Double the assets killed. Very reckless play by TF. 
despite that he has come out ahead in all the engagements, especially in the early game. Really bad trades here for M Hall. Deploying, uh, undeploying the, the APC under heavy fire, as well as losing the APC to a, a well placed Tesla coil, have sealed the early game deal for him. Then he tried to come back via, via just uh, camping the ore fields, but there was an expansion and there was a Tesla coil ready. So this wasn't going anywhere. Pretty well played. This, is, this was an impressive display by TF. By the way, I've played him two times on stream and I traded 1-1 one, one with him as well. So he is very well capable of beating pretty much anyone. Uh, we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for more TF action. By the way, big kudos to Amhol because he was the one who posted those replays. So um, one of the few players who actually post replays of themselves losing. Not many people do that. I highly commend um, people who do that because that was a good game. Thanks to Amhol for posting this and thanks to you guys for watching. What do we learn from this? Shock Troopers. That's all I have to say. That's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Five Aces, out. Battle Control terminated.